with your buddy Mark. Um, continuing with the Nas album, we did uh, yesterday the one with Eminem and the DMPD. And um, this one's going to be very interesting. It's called um, Death Row East. And I remember Tupac, you know, he was on the Death Row Records. He started making t shirts saying Death Row East. And um, anyone that thinks the East and West Coast War was just Tupac and Biggie, no, not at all. This is an interview. You can see Tupac saying, he said it straight up. He said, when this is all over, do not blame the East West Coast War on me and Biggie. This is just a feud between two guys. It, it was all media. And um, as much as I hate, like, so many people saying fake news, fake news, because, well, I guess half of it is fake. You got two different channels saying different things. But, um, the, the media completely fucked and just, they, they took a little fire and poured gasoline on it. And that's the reason why they're both gone. But anyway, so let's see what he's talking about in this. Death Row East. You know, because, uh, let's just get into it. Yeah, that's true. He's right back at it. It's like he hasn't skipped a beat. His voice hasn't aged. I know a lot of people's voices don't age, but like, as he's still rapping just as good. Like he hasn't skipped a beat. He said, I had run ins of Shug. Dudes would have been shook. I yo, Shug Knight, what was he like? 6'3, 6'4, 360 pounds? Like, who wouldn't be shook? And besides the fact that he was violent, had guns, and a gangster. I mean, and Nas, um, I'm sure Nas can scrap, but he ain't like a big dude. Anyway, but yeah, you know, let's, let's keep going. Uh, what do you say? He said he even saw some of the T's on his G's. Start, as I was saying, uh, Tupac made those Death Row East t shirts. So he's saying he's seen people in New York wearing them. MGK. Let's talk about it. What do you say? Fat Joe? Uh Oh, jungle. Okay, there. I gotta stop right there because uh, he said right after the music awards, um, and Snoop told this story where it was just Snoop and Pac, and the, uh, Pac followed Nas out to this, a park, and I guess Pac was just yelling and Nas like crazy, like. I, I don't know, just wilding out saying, you'll never be me, or, I don't know, just shit like that, like, you're a bunch of bitches, like, I'll fuck your whole crew up, and Snoop said, they had no, Snoop and Park had no guns on them, they said there was so many dudes in the park, like, with their guns aimed at them, and he said, like, Tupac, like, didn't even notice, or didn't even care, wasn't even scared, just went on, off Nas, and, and I guess, for some reason, Nas, so just took it and um he he wanted to squash the beef and he basically um said like you mean you Pac? we're not supposed to be we're supposed to be brothers and like that was the end of the conversation and um 
but I, I don't want to say that as a suspect or anything, but Pac died the next night. So, but I'm not, I'm not trying to say anything there. I'm just saying a fact. They had this altercation and then Pac died the next night. So you got to look at him a little bit, but I don't, I don't think he had anything to do with it. But what the fuck do I know? They, they were saying both sides were thugging. Like, no one wanted to back down. No one ever wants to back down from the fight if you're a man. And then he's saying he's in New York. He's got to rep his city. Uh, that high off life, drunk off dark liquor. Because they both love Hennessy. Both of them rap about Hennessy like crazy. They're so similar. Like, they could have been, like, separated at birth. Like, they're not, like, twins. But they could be, like, they, they could be brothers. Like, they kind of look alike. Um, oh, man. There's so many similarities between them. That's the hook. I know there. He just said, "Real look, keep it on record. Like, just keep it on the record. You know, don't let shit escalate to what happened to Biggie and Pac." <laughs> He's writing in GK. Ah. Yeah, he's saying you got a story as real as mine. You, you gotta tell it. It's like people want to know. It's another thing. I do not think Nas had anything to do with Tupac's killing. But he was in Vegas. He had an altercation with him in New York. He went, he, he followed him to Vegas to squash the beef. I mean, that's what he says, but I don't think he did it. But, like, listen to this. Like, I don't know. He's put two in, I don't know. It's just, but he says he went to squash it um, to do the Street Dreams um, video together which obviously never happened. And they each used that beat. I think Nas used it first. Yeah, because Nas, the song was called Street Dreams. And then All Eyes on Me, Tupac had a song with that same beat. Nah. Woo. <laughs> That's what you're saying. M.O.B., Mob Deep. One of my, oh man, Nas and Mob Deep. That, that's hip hop to me. And Wu Tang, like I think of hip hop, I think of them. Oh, I remember when they were said someone was had all the streets bloody. <laughs> said almost turned half of New York red. Talking about Chug, not about Pac, because they said he, he was a dangerous threat. He he was. I mean, I I think Pac, you know. Everybody has their, their, their bad side, you know. Everybody gets a little reckless, drinks a little bit, maybe gets into some fights, does some shit they wish they didn't. But, but you know, Pac, he had a good soul, a good heart. Suge was just evil. Like, I still think so. Like, I don't, I think Tupac, I mean, he has shot people, but like self-defense or um, he saved someone even know from getting jumped. Um, I think Shug would just cold blood murder shoot people. Oof. <laughs> Yo, I'm happy you said that, because I never believed that shit. That Tupac was set up by Stretch, Stretch from Naughty by Nature. Um, they were boys. I don't know how that rumor got started. I don't know why people believed it, but I'm happy not I said that. Cause that that shit that shit never happened. I'm, I'm I, of course I don't know, but I I never believed that rumor. Oh, this 
Sisters. Yeah, that was a dope track. I mean, it's hard for Nas to make a bad track. Um, of course, he has some bad songs, but yeah, that was dope. I'm so happy that he made a new album. I mean, one of the goats, um, you know, making new music. Yeah, that's that's good, and it sounds like this could have been something he made. And it's prime. Not that it's out, you know what I'm saying. It sounds like something you could have made years ago. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I really enjoyed breaking it down, talking about the old stuff that, that I lived through. Because um, I remember Pac and Nas beefing, reading all about it in the magazines and MTV News when I was like 16, 17. All right, I um, hope you enjoyed it. Peace.